Melbourne does have some flood prone areas and those areas are fitted out with residence, housing, roads, schools. The pre-existing solution that uh, Melbourne Water had was placing enormous stress on our people that do the, uh, the flood intelligence modelling and we were finding that they had very little amount of time to actually do their modelling. Melbourne Water thought it was very important to develop a new flood forecasting solution to integrate disparate systems into one solution and make it a lot more efficient. So the application that Melbourne Water has implemented is the Flood Intelligence Decision Support System, or FIDS as its acronym. It's one of the projects uh, that fit within Melbourne Water's digital strategy, but it's one of the key projects that we've delivered in this first implementation plan, um, delivering significant benefit to Melbourne Water in general. FIDS takes forecast rainfall from the Bureau of Meteorology it combines it with rainfall data from Melbourne Waters system and uh, from that it estimates a, a flood level and then it turns that level into a plan. FIDS also alerts the duty officers if, if it's a serious enough event and then they'll check out whether it looks like it's genuine and if it is they'll send that information to the Bureau of Meteorology and they issue a flood warning. That goes out to councils, to the SES and to media and then from the media it's disseminated to the rest of the community. A range of stakeholders throughout our community are interested in the outputs from FIDS. The flooding information that we provide to uh, those community members will be more timely in terms of we'll provide that faster. It'll be more accurate in terms of the estimates uh, and the predictions around the flood modelling and it will be more usable in terms of um, one element of FIDS basically allows it to map floods down to a road level so emergency services personnel will be able to actually look at the output from FIDS and determine what houses do we need to evacuate, what roads do we need to close, that type of information. I'd like to see Melbournians planning for floods in the future similarly to what the fire affected community does through having plans that are specific to their own home helping them to build resilience and to be ready if the flood comes along. At its heart, the digital strategy is about making Melbourne water safer, smarter, faster and easier to deal with, both for our employees and our customers. So if you think about the FIDS application, it's about making Melbourne water safer in terms of providing people with higher quality information about flooding uh, and faster in terms of providing that information in a more timely manner.